today we are making plants vs zombies in world box wow how's that gonna work there's no possible way that could ever work you're dumb you're not actually dumb i'm sorry i said that i just it's been a long day okay so this was actually another idea from a comment built upon an idea from another comment someone suggested i make a tower defense game so i did that and then someone came up with the follow-up idea that I should make plants versus zombies, kind of using the same concept. So basic idea is we put on one side gold brains. We're not gonna do it yet because I gotta line everything up right, but golden brains on one side, and then we're gonna make sort of a uh, checkerboard. The zombies are gonna come across it. We'll put people on here with weapons, and then they'll try to get to the other side to destroy the brains. And those five brains for the five rows will be our five lives. Wow, just like the game. Only problem that I ran into when kind of troubleshooting to see if I could make this work is exactly how to do the turrets. Because it's not really that simple. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me first make the arena real quickly. Okay, so let's say it works like this. Where do the people go? And I know what you're thinking. They go right here, obviously, but look what they do. Not so much this, that's that's avoidable, but they just, they run around. They don't stand still. So my solution, and I'm curious if anyone has a better one, is just to make little, like, boxes that they have to stay in, like that. Put them in there, boom. And that does work, let me tell you. That does work. They stay in there, you can give them weapons, and they just shoot over the mountain at anyone that comes close. The problem being, it kind of is against the spirit of plants versus zombies that the zombies just go around the plants when in the game you kind of move your plants across the board and then the people kind of push you back. This really only works if you make it so they can't move. And I can't remember if there was a way to do that with one of those mods, the simple GUI mod, I think. You could set someone's move speed to zero, but that mod has not worked since the Steam update like a month ago. They haven't updated it or made it compatible or whatever, so... Or at least for me, I have been unable to get it to work, and I even asked some of the other Worldbox creators, and no one has been able to get it to work. So, we are limited with having to lock up the humans. So, hopefully that's okay with you guys. So what we're gonna do here is... Uh, make a couple of these. I don't want to like block it off obviously so we're gonna kind of be weird about it a little bit. So let's say five maybe let's say yeah let's get one more up. So again it's a little unconventional but once you see the game actually work I think it actually will still be pretty cool. Let's go like this. Let's go ahead and make the uh, the road a very necessary part of this process. Boom. Zombies gotta come across the street. All right, so this next part, we're gonna do just how we did in the last video, where we blocked them off into waves. So we got one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 total. So just because I know everyone's very curious about how this is gonna work, let's do a little test wave here, just so you can see what I'm talking about before we do the rest of the functions. Let's go ahead and put one person in each. Give them all bows, nice. And let's save it. They're slow across the road, but then they make it to the front lines, and... Wow. It's just like the original game. What the? What are you doing here? Alright, we're gonna just kind of pretend here, I think. These are our sunflowers. It's just for visuals. Don't be too mad. We're gonna have some trees. Nah. Okay, let's design some waves here real quick, and let's get this show on the road. So we'll probably do similar, we'll probably change some weapons around, we'll do something there, but let's plan out the waves first. We're gonna have to do smaller ones than last time, because this is a much smaller course. I probably should start on this side. Let's do foxes, pretty small wave here. Let's do chickens with cats. Uh, let's do a wolf wave somewhere in the middle. Um, okay, we might be going too hard on this, actually. They're slow, but they mean business. Crabs and snakes. I'm worried that this wave's too hard, but those guys die in like two seconds. Okay, no, they still have 100 health. Okay, let's do this thing. So the rules are gonna be the same as last time. And if you didn't watch my last tower defense video, uh, basically we're gonna start like this, where everyone has a wood bow, uh, but then after each wave, I'm gonna say we get three actions we can do, and we can either spend those on changing weapons, and then another action to go up each tier. Let's do this thing. Here they come. Why did they take so long to start shooting? Why did they take so long to start shooting? I don't get it. They were like already on them. Let's start them all on silver bows because the bows are so weak compared to the staffs. So let's start them all with a little more damage. And then 
Um, yeah, this is gonna be too hard, but that's okay. Let's do that wave again. What was it? Foxes? Fire! Why are they waiting until they're past them? There you go. Yeah, the course is so short. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I way overestimated, so let's just kind of like go like that. <laughs> Maybe like that. Maybe like that. Okay, so let's just say we finish that first wave. We just need some staffs. That's really what it is. So staff there, staff there, staff there. That'll be our three things we can do. Let's begin the next wave. Chickens and cats. There we go. That's a little more like it. Okay, let's keep the bows in the back, but let's do a necromancer staff here, ice staff here, and let's upgrade the middle one. That's our three things we can do. Continue on to the monkey and frog wave. There's actually a lot of them. Uh-oh, it's monkey time. There you go. So one more thing I want to do, actually, and that is just put a row up here. Because I realized that on the bottom row, they can kind of go around it, which makes a nice little piece of variety there. There we go. That way they have options to kind of like zigzag around all of them, not just the ones in the middle. Okay, wave complete. Easy peasy. Let's leave the bows in the back, like we said. Uh, we got 49 damage. Let's go up by two on that one. Let's upgrade the bow on the opposite side to iron, and that will do it. I mean, low-key, it does look like the game, you know? <laughs> nice, easy. We're getting into tougher waves here. Let's go upgrade the bow in the back again. We got two irons. Let's actually upgrade both of them one more time because I think having the range that they have helps kind of kill all of them once they hit this middle area. We got fast, boys. Oh my goodness, they're fast. Uh-oh, uh-oh, kill them before it's too late. Okay, so we got three across. We'll just manually destroy the, the three because I don't want them to destroy all of them. So we're down to two lives already. That's not good. Let's upgrade the staffs. <laughs> one, two. I feel like the front row people need more damage. There we go, one. Okay, yeah, the wolves are so fast. There we go. Penguins and rats, this should be fine. There's a lot of them, but they're not that fast. At least the penguins are slow. Come on, boys, hold them off. Oh yeah, they got this. Here come the slow pokes. Wah. Easy game. Okay, are we maxed out on these staffs? Okay. <laughs> It's about to get trickier, although this is going to be another slow wave. Um, but the next couple waves are some beefy boys. I also didn't put any actual zombies. <laughs> Blast them. Okay, we're getting in wave seven here. Let's upgrade the bows. What we got here? One, two. Let's go max that one out. These are both maxed out now. This one is still level one. Let's go up by one on that. I'm also not using the flame staff, if you guys are wondering the evil staff because of the splash damage uh it would just kill the other guys i had that happen so it's a great staff but it's not very conducive to the survival of people around you i don't know what it is about the wolves they like do not attack them until they're way past them oh no five alligators six alligators easy game all right we gotta up these things. Also, the regular zombies are so slow, so let's go ahead and just <laughs> wipe these waves and start from scratch. Uh, no regular zombies. Let's do cows, and the last wave is gonna be rhinos and foxes, because they were fast. Let's throw a couple frogs in each for a good measure. Okay, I think our towers are all more or less maxed out, except for this guy. So let's go one, two. That's maxed out, so we got one more for a bow. Three, boom, here they come. That's a lot of cows. Whew, nice, okay. Yeah, we're OP. Although this wave will be the hardest one yet. Okay, so we're pretty much just gonna max out this bow. One, two, three. I think everything's perfectly maxed right now, right? Yeah, perfect amount of actions. The foxes are coming in, stop them. Rhinos, oh no. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. That's funny, there's like two that made it up to here, but they like turned around for a second and got killed. <laughs> okay, that's it. We win. Good game. All right, just for the sake of the original game, let's do a very like classic looking one where they all come in like a few at a time. But more than that, uh, let's also give a few of them. Let's give a few of them fast. Let's give all the blue ones fast. Oops. 
some of the green ones got fast. <laughs> and let's give some of these ones slow. Um, but I don't know. All right, I don't know how much difference that's gonna make, but there we go. I don't know why they all kind of line up, you know? They all like, you'd think they would line up with the brains that they want, but they like are all going to the bottom. I want them to go across the rows like in the game. Is that so much to ask for? That's the thumbnail right there. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I wanted to kind of throw this idea at you because you guys have been on fire with giving me ideas. Um, so if anyone has a way to make this better, I would do this again. I kind of struggle with it for like an hour or so trying to figure out the best way to do this. And this is what I came up with. My solution would be when they finally make Simple GUI, the mod, work for uh, the new World Box version, I can have the people stand out on the field in the squares and just give them a move speed of zero. I think that would work. So that, that way they're out in the open and they're fighting and the zombies will actually kill them if they get close enough because that would pretty much fix all the issues. It's the fact that we have to box them in to get them to not run around. So. If that ever comes out, I'll probably do another video to make a better version of this, but hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, thanks for the idea. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.